Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar. I thought this was the best match on the show. And it was an right. easy match in the sense that yeah, the story. I thought, so too. I thought so too. I thought it was the best. This one, and um, you know, the other one I really liked was um, Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. Yes. I thought those were the two best ones. Well, the story here is that Brock Lesnar was a monster, and uh, they've had three matches, and Lesnar just killed this dude. And Cody refused to give up, and Lesnar would throw him all over the place. He'd throw him outside the ring. They'd tease the count out. Cody would get back in. He'd get beaten up. He'd get suplex. He'd get suplex under the floor. F5 on the floor. F5 on the floor. Lesnar's like, don't get back in. You're going to get killed. He would get back in. Finally, Lesnar gives him the F5 on the announce table. The announce table is destroyed. Cody's lying there in a pile. Lesnar's in the ring. This guy ain't going to make it back. He gets it in barely at nine, and now Lesnar is furious. So he starts pounding this dude, and as he goes to do his suplex, Cody yanks off the corner pad, and Cody finally manages to post him twice, hits him with the steps, goes for a disaster kick, Cody cutter, top rope Cody cutter, Lesnar kicks out. Lesnar catches him in the Kimura. Cody's fighting. He finally gets the ropes. Brock goes for the F5. Cody puts him in a Kimura after throwing him into the exposed buckle. Brock sells and sells. Power bombs his way free. And he finally goes for another F5. Cody sneaks behind. Hits the crossroads. Hits it again. Hits it a third time. And gets the pin. It was an awesome dramatic match. And then afterwards, they have the big stare down. And Brock takes off the gloves. Walks over. They have the big stare down. He shakes Cody's hand. He gives him a hug, raises his arm in victory, endorses him, walks to the back. And uh, they did a SummerSlam press conference afterwards. And uh, Triple H was asked, like, you know, what does this mean? What's going on? And, uh, and Triple H claimed this was not a scheduled part of the show. This was uh, not something that was booked and as uh, Brock was leaving, he decided that he was going to do this. So that's the story Triple H told. And uh, apparently Brock's not done. For those of you that uh, thought that perhaps taking off his gloves was the sign of something. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's advertised for Fastlane. Um, so I don't know if that's when he returns. Um, he's not going to be he's going to be gone for a little while is what I was told, but not a long while, whatever that means. Great match, though. Excellent match. Excellent match, yeah. 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 That was Lesnar's best match in forever. Yeah, he I mean, was awesome. You know, go, going, I would say go, going back several years. Never saw a guy sweat quite like uh, Brock Lesnar. And I've been around Filthy Tom, and that dude can sweat. But, man, Lesnar, he puts that Kimura on, and as soon as Cody got the ropes and, and Lesnar had to break the hold, there was the biggest pile of sweat, like a puddle of sweat where he was laying on the mat. It was, that guy is something else. 25-man battle royal. So uh, everyone's in the ring. They give AJ Styles and L.A. Knight the big entrances. And then the bell rings, but then MVP comes out, and he says, you cannot start this match until... Uh, the man who is going to win hits the ring. And uh, that man happened to be Omos. And so Omos comes out, and uh, he starts killing dudes, and he's throwing people out. And ultimately, everybody finally figured out, hey, you know, we got to get rid of this guy. And they all teamed up, and they eliminated him. But we had a couple of uh, things to set up storylines. Ciampa got rid of both of the Viking Raiders and Nakamura, and then Bronson Reed tossed him because they're all doing a feud. Theory ended up getting tossed. It was really the uh, WWE Battle Royal. Um, you know, it, it, the WWE Battle Royal thing where a guy, as soon as a guy looks good and starts eliminating people, you know he's the next one out in most cases. Um, it's just kind of the way that they put it together. Um, I thought it was a Battle Royal. I've seen, I've seen worse. I've certainly seen much better. It was a, it was a Battle Royal. Normal, no... Um, no spectacular spots or anything like that. No, mem nothing really memorable. Just, it was there. Santos tossed Austin Theory because they're fighting for the title coming up next week. And uh, L.A. Knight tossed Miz. And Miz and Grayson Waller had done something since a lot of people tried to compare those two guys. And finally, it came down to uh, Knight and Sheamus. Did you see SmackDown? No, I did not. Okay. So on SmackDown... Uh, they did Sheamus versus L.A. Knight, and they did a spot where Sheamus is sitting on the top rope, and L.A. Knight is supposed to run 
jump all the way up to the top rope, grab him, and hit a superplex off. So L.A. Knight runs, and he jumps, and he slips, and he falls down. And so he climbs up to do the superplex, and then they both lose their balance, and they both fall down, and they tumble to the floor. Mm. So they're the last two guys in the ring, and they've done a long battle royal. They're in front of 50,000 people. They fucked up the spot the night before, and they decide, we're going to get it right here on this show. And L.A. Knight runs, and he jumps, and he almost didn't make it up again. But he got his balance, and he hit the big superplex, and the place popped big, and then he tossed Sheamus over the top rope and won. So L.A. Knight is expected, won the Battle Royal. And, uh, yes, as far as Battle Royals go, it was fine. It was a typical WWE Battle Royal. As you've noted, I've, I've seen much... I've seen much better. I've seen much worse. It's yeah, just I mean, it was there. it was quick. So you had like you know elimination, 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 just constant eliminations. No um, building of anything. No um, you know no big things where like two guys were set up. Like you clear the ring and then two guys are set up to kind of go at it or you know it was just we got a, a very limited amount of time. We got a lot of guys and this is the order you go out. And it was that's basically it, just guys being thrown out. So it was just kind of there. And, you know, they they left with um, L.A. Knight and Sheamus. So it looks like they're going to probably do some sort of a babyface, babyface program with those two, maybe. Um, but, you know, obviously L.A. Knight's getting the big push now. We had Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, and they build this as an MMA match. And uh, the big problem is, if you are there's, going to do... There's many, pro there's many big problems. Well, here's the big problem. You have two options. They either do a WWE-style match, or they have to do an MMA match with actual UFC rules. They half-assed it. They did a WWE-style MMA match where you, they, they claim you can only win by knockout or submission, but, like, they're getting kicked, and then the referee's holding someone back. Are you okay? Are you okay? All this stuff you would never see in an MMA fight. There was, there was like four or five spots that were referee stoppages in an MMA yep. fight where you st stop the guy. Like, like you just, you know, that's a stoppage, right? Yep. Yeah, but they... But yeah. they didn't do it. And so at the end of the day, the WWE fans are bored. They're chanting boring. They don't care. The MMA fans are like, this is bullshit. This is not MMA rules. You make nobody happy. The, the, the wrestlers suffer because they're doing some stupid rules in this match. And uh, finally, at the end, you know, Shayna gets hit. The doctor, go, you know, the ref goes, get in here. The doctors get in the ring. The Literally two the doctors room. get in the ring, and they ask, and they quote, are you hurt? Are you okay? Ronda then starts beating up the doctors, which you cannot do in an MMA fight. And she goes for an arm bar. Shayna reverses into an ankle lock. Ronda reverses into a choke. Shayna reverses into a choke of her own. Ronda goes unconscious. Shayna gets the submission win over Ronda Rousey. And uh, that's the end of so, Ronda Rousey so in that WWE is, so, for the time being. I mean, the whole deal was, it may be the end period, but the, um, the whole deal was that... Uh, Rhonda, you know, I mean, this was this looked to be like it's my, you know, it's my last match, and Shane is the one who got me into this. And if I'm gonna, I have to go out a loser, so I'm gonna let her beat me by submission because no one in WWE ever, was ever allowed to beat Rhonda by submission. That was like the key, and um, so she did it with her, you know, her best friend, and um, I mean, it's 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 in theory, it's great for Shayna if they follow up on it, which we'll see, we'll see. I mean, it's like, it's, it's like, it's a good thing, but um, you know, I mean, I've seen people drop the ball after big wins all the time. And uh, you know, um, I give Rhonda a lot of credit for doing that for Shayna. It was a really big favor to do. Um, obviously she handpicked who she was going to do it with and for, so Shayna, you know, um, she, you know, Shayna, Shayna owes a lot to Ronda. I mean, you know, Ron, you know, without Ronda, Shayna doesn't get in, in WWE. I mean, that's the reality of it. But because of Ronda, Shayna got in, and she did well. And uh, I'd like to see a nice follow-up, but who, you know, who knows what, what will happen next. I'm calling it Down Granny's Memory Lane. Are you oh. reading from your memoirs? Yes. No, no, okay. no. That's past. Oh, okay. This yeah, is new stuff. 
this is more up to date. You know, I'm I see. Old. Okay, this is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just no, said. no, okay. no, no. <laughs> the <laughs> New Testament. Everyone, let her go. We lived on a farm ten miles east of Baker. <laughs> more <laughs> recent, you say? <laughs> I was going to say this is a new. No, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we're just going to be quiet. And you, am I out of my mind? No, yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm fining Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined $100. Oh. It was Martell's and Hebes. Hebes? Martell. <laughs> the Hebes. The Hebes. And the Hebes only had one daughter named Alice. <laughs> yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Hebes? The daughter Alice, uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what what she'd call nowadays a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> You thought I wasn't going to like this segment, Granny? This is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the Join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click Join today and don't miss out.